Assalamualaikum doctors. Today our topic of discussion is all around the anti-depression. So basically in this lecture we will like more focusing on classification of anti-depression and side effects of anti-depression. Now let's move toward the anti-depression classification. Now anti-depression are classified into three major groups that is tricyclic antidepressant and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and serotonin and serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor now antidepressant is further classified into tricyclic antidepressant selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors so actually the point which actually very important to understand is that tricyclic antidepressant contain a lot of drugs also selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor contain some drugs and also serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor contains some drugs so the tricyclic antidepressant they are mostly preferred in severe depression this is very important point the tricyclic antidepressant it is more preferred in severe depression but if a patient is suffering from mild to moderate depression so in that condition mostly doctors refer the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors so these uh, this is important point state tricyclic antidepressant it is preferred in severe depression but if we talk about selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors so these drugs are preferred to the patients if patient is suffering from mild to moderate depression now there are certain drugs that are coming under the class of the tricyclic antidepressant so for that we are having a trick that is antidepressant c we are we are not focusing on e now we are each alphabets will indicate the particular drug of the tricyclic antidepressant like if we say a a stands for amitriptyline a stands for amitriptyline n stands for nortriptyline we are a stand for amitriptyline, N stand for nortriptyline, and T stand for tri tri mepromine, and I stand for amipramine. We are D stand for the doxepin, and P stand for pro pro triptyline. And C stand for the C stand for the clomipramine. So it is worth noting what are the drugs that are coming under the class of tricyclic antidepressant. For that we have a trick that is antidepressant C. So we are A stand for amitriptyline, N stand for nortriptyline. T stands for trimepramine, I stands for amepramine, D stands for doxepin, P stands for protritriline, where C stands for clomipramine. Now let's switch towards the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, which is preferred in mild to moderate depression. Now for that we are having a trick that is FCPS. So what is the trick to recall the drugs that are coming under the class of selective reuptake inhibitors so, sorry serotonin selective reuptake inhibitors so for that we are having a trick that is FCPS we are F stand for fluoxetine P stand for peroxetine C stand for citalopram S stand for sertraline so in the class of serotonin selective reuptake inhibitors we are having a lot of drugs but some of drugs some of the drugs are fluoxetine peroxetine 
and cetaloprom and sertraline. Now this is, these are the selective, sorry, serotonin selective reuptake inhibitor. Now if we see the serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors, so far that we are having a trick that is DVD. That contain doloxetine and venlafaxine. So students, I will repeat it once again, antidepressants are further classified into two, uh, sorry, it is further classified into three major groups, that is tricyclic antidepressant, serotonin selective reuptake inhibitors, and serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors. So in the category of tricyclic antidepressant, we are having a mnemonic that is antidepressant C, we are A stand for amitriptyline and for nortritiline. T stands for triamepramine, I stands for amepramine, D stands for doxapine, B for protritriline and clomepramine for C. Now if we see the serotonin serecto reuptake inhibitor for that we have a trick that is FCPS where F stands for fluoxetine, C for cetalopram, P for peroxetine and S stands for the sertraline. Now for the serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor, for that we are having doloxetine and venlafaxine. Now this is all this is all about the classification of the antidepressant with an easy trick. Now let's switch towards the side effects of the antidepressant. Now if we talk about the side effect of antidepressant, now if we see more systemically, now like if we say antidepressant. Now more specifically if we talk about the side effect of tricyclic antidepressant, so the sum of the side effect of tricyclic antidepressant are for that we are having a trick that is that is T C A tricyclic if you see the initial word of the tricyclic antidepressant so it will correspond to the one of the side effect of the tricyclic antidepressant now let's talk about the tricyclic antidepressant for T where T stands for the tremors so one of the most important side effect of the tricyclic antidepressant is tremors and where C stands for cardiovascular side effects C stands for the cardiovascular side effects like more specifically ischemic heart diseases so now if we see the A A stands for the anticholinergic side effects anticholinergic side effects and what are the anticholinergic side effects yes please that is dry mouth and dysphagia urinary retention so and constipation so these are all are the side effects of the anticholinergic so it is also very important side effect of the tricyclic antidepressant you are a stand for the sedation a stand for the sedation now it is worth noting what are the side effects of the tricyclic antidepressant for that we will see the initial letters of the tricyclic antidepressant that is TCAS where T stands for the tremors where C stands for the cardiovascular side effects like if we say more specifically like ischemic heart diseases now A stands for the anticholinergic side effect that is dry mouth, dysphagia, urine irritation, constipation as we discussed earlier where A stands for the sedation so student, this is all about the side effect of the tricyclic antidepressant. Now, if we talk about the side effect of the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, so far that, <coughs> sorry, so far that we are having a trick that is, that is SSRI. So how to recall the side effects of the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors so to just the C of the initial letters of the SSRI. Now we are S stand for the serotonin syndrome. S stand for serotonin syndrome. And what are the serotonin syndrome? There are four important manifestations regarding serotonin syndrome. That is for that we are having a trick that is that is harm. So, you are S stand for the hyperthermia. 
A stands for autonomic and stability and R stands for rigidity and stands for myoclonus. Now S stands for serotonin syndrome that is being characterized by hyperthermia, autonomic instability including delirium and R stands for rigidity, M stands for the myoclonus. Now if we talk about another S that means stimulate CNS. So it also stimulate the CNS and R stands for reproductive dysfunction and male. Where I stand for the insomnia. So what are the side effects that is serotonin syndrome where A stand for serotonin syndrome that is being characterized by harm where A stand for hyperthermia, A stand for autonomic instability, R stand for rigidity, M stand for myoclonus. <coughs> We are another A stand for stimulate CNS and R stand for reproductive dysfunction and male. We are I stand for the insomnia. So students, this is all about the antidepressant. I hope so you will like the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.